feel that you do not have the power. Excellent. Oh, excellent. Why do you think we have the power? Why did you think we have the power to stop and search? Well, it's against human rights or... Ah, fantastic. Excellent. I would think that's a kind of great thing about If that police officer did not stop and search and the rest of that individual for that offence, I'd be seriously concerned. It's even better. I'm going to move on to the scenario now where it hasn't been named. And but that's a difficulty, isn't it? The police officer, you've got an individual who's been named you match the description of a serious offence on the street and that there are some people who think that we haven't got the power to stop and search. And the reason why I raise it is because you talk about the seriousness of knife, knife crime from, from a judge. We've heard from the barrister about how serious it may be. You know, judges and the law and the government. And this is no criticism. But we just, all 43 forces have signed up to best use of stop and search. Because as on, on Dankley, we have misused it, stop and search. Uh, uh, I would say areas such as the Met would, you know, the main, crit main criticism. But I don't think people often in Devon call can, can say it's not us. So we have signed up to better use of stop and search. And unfortunately, or it may lead to fewer stop and search is because stop and search is a valuable tool to reducing criminality. And in fact, one of the specific criteria of stop and search is around offensive weapons, i.e. knives. I will stop and search with you, but absolutely not. Okay, I'm, I'm now going to move that scenario on. Same incident. No suspect is known, it's not gang related. But an independent witness said the suspect was wearing a red t shirt and blue jeans, aged between 16 and 25. Half an hour later, we get a call, half a mile away, that a, a, an individual is uh, screaming out the window, he's on in the street, screaming out the window, let me in, let me in quickly. We get there, he's wearing a white t shirt and tracksuit bottoms. The police officer start talking and find out why he's sort of screaming and shouting and, and screaming in the street. And I'm talking to him. He says, Do you know what? I think he's done that. Like the got looks at. I'm going to love you now. Have we now got, how many now would disagree that the police officer has got the power to stop and search? We disagree. So we all think that we, he's got the power to stop and search. It doesn't matter. He's 27, by the way, so he's not going to be 16 to 25. He's 27, he's not 16 to 25. He doesn't match the description. He has a white t shirt and blue track and blue track to the bottom. Have you ever got the power? Stop and search? Mm -hmm. hmm? You can search the rocks out. I'm going to come back to you because uh, you, you, you thought he didn't have the power to do human rights when he did match the description of his name. So now he doesn't match the description, he hasn't been named. Have we got the power? I'd say yes, because it wasn't a friend to the person in the house. I was his friend. His girlfriend wants to get in quickly. What I'm trying to. Did you say he's in? No, no, no.
in relation to that. I want to move the scenario on now that he's got into a vehicle and he's made off. He's going back to John Smith. It is John Smith this time, and we've got a vehicle. He's made off in the vehicle. Who do you think we are going to send to stop this vehicle? Is in Popton Road. Are we going to send? <coughs> this is where Google let me down. <laughs> I Google, I Google, PC person Browse next to the list. I was hoping a PC person Browse would be in his cape on his bike in Exeter. Did you, did you write to Google around and write to forget whatever it's called then? <laughs> Lord Mayor. We would not send an armed guard officer, and this is another <coughs> consequence what, at the first consequence. Because actually, if we have got somebody that we believe has possession of a knife, we would send armed fire officers. How many are surprised that we would send fire officers to arrest somebody with a knife?
The starting point for 16 and 17 year olds is charging. And I think that is quite significant for young people. Yes, they may get a custodial sentence, probably get a custodial sentence, but if they, they don't, then their life chances are seriously impacted. So in relation to those consequences, you will be arrested, most probably. You could get arrested by firearm officers. You could get hurt. You could get charged and, and, and then get convicted, whether you get a custodial sentence or not. But your life is certainly affected. There's also a reputational issue. We heard about Chris. I can remember Chris when I was a detective constable in 1992 when I was in Exeter. He did have a reputation. Actually, we didn't have tasers back then. Uh, you know, most of the, a lot of our officers now may not be firearms officers, but a lot of our patrol officers that you see around Exeter will have tasers. I can probably tell you that if we had tasers in those days, every day, every day, every time we we heard about somebody like Chris, we would be, you know, there was a potential uh, of a serious incident happening because we would have had those tasers. But it's not only the rep and he pointed to it himself actually. It's not only the reputation you have in the police, it's the reputation that he gets with his uh, people that he associates with and you know, he said gang members. You get a reputation for carrying a knife, it is more likely that and I think Andrew talked about it, you're more likely to become a victim because of your reputation. So it's not just the consequences of imprisonment, there are much more wider consequences because you're always going to look over your shoulder.